Okay, guys, Rooster here in Tennessee. This is a, a customer test video, brand new Fat Boy 4 pill 454 base amp. So I don't carry a whole lot of base amps. This one was actually a prepaid uh, custom order. I do keep some of these in stock every now and again, and I keep the 8 pill for 454s in stock. Um, I've actually got one with outside band that's pending sold over here, but this one was actually pre ordered, custom ordered by a customer. Uh, has bias and sideband delay right there. You can hear that, that slight delay just long enough for the sideband operation. And then on AM, there's no delay. So just how we would intend it to work. Now these 454s, I generally recommend people to put anywhere from 60 to 70 watts PEP. But by the power output this one's doing, I honestly think 50 watts excuse me, 50 watts PEP or swing is plenty. Three watts dead key. Didn't mean to shoot you guys a bird there. Three watts dead key because we've got our Connex on high. Dead key, three watts in. Swing, 50 watts PEP on a bird 43P. If you're using a dosi or another meter, you can throw that figure out the window. Uh, it's going to be a little bit different. Uh, every, every meter reads a little different on PEP. As far as average power, if you use average power as a reference, we're putting about 20 watts average in. It could probably handle a little bit more. I'd go as far as say, uh, you know, 25 to 30 watts average. Uh, it's a modulated average power, if that's something you use as a reference. But about 50 watts PEP is what we're going to use. Again, you can put a little more in it, but you're probably going to get diminishing returns. 60 to 70 watts PEP going in. Uh, you'll, you'll see a little bit more out of it. And the 454s are tough transistors. Um, very, very rugged transistor. So uh, we'll test this guy out, see how it does. I've already done a little quick pre-test, make sure it keys up and everything. Um, and checked how much it did PEP. But we'll get into it here and show you guys how it does and get this one shipped out to the customer. Lots of custom amp videos coming, guys. I actually kind of took the weekend off, not really. A buddy of mine and myself, we were out here working on my stuff this weekend. So we're out here working on my new antenna, and trying to get that situated. So uh, forgive me for taking a weekend off, uh, but we're back at it now. So four pill, 454, base amp by Fat Boy. Master control power switch back here. This switch turns the amp section on and off, okay? This is the power supply. So when you turn this on, the fan and everything else is gonna turn on. When you turn this on, uh, this is gonna activate your amp section. Sideband down here, off in the middle, on up here. That may actually turn the fan off too. Let's see. Yeah, so I guess this switch actually does turn the fan off. Some of them in the past, this switch just put the amp in standby on and off, uh, but it actually turns the fan off. So, all right, guys, enough of that. Let's see how much it does. Thousand watt slug. So we're looking at the bottom scale. That 100 on the bottom is 1,000 watts. This is average power and day key check. So our three watts is giving us about 60 out. That's probably about where I would run it. Hello. I mean, this is a style amp, 250 average. Uh, they're really getting these things down pat. Uh, I've seen them do as low as, as, you know, 180 to 200 average, but this is audio. Golly, it's getting with it. 280 average, 275 average. And for the folks out there that say stupid shit like, why does he audio into the mic when he's checking power? It's because we want to see the maximum amount of power it does. I have no problem just talking into the mic like this and showing you what it does just talking into it. But a lot of people want to know what the max and amp can do. And to do that, you go, audio, audio. So there you go. That's why I do that. It's not to hide or try to inflate numbers or anything. I have no interest in doing that. PEP, what's good for you? What's good for me? A little PEP, over 600 watts PEP. Audio, check one, two, three. Audio, check one, two, three. There you go. So you can whisper into it, you can talk into it, you can do whatever you want to. 600 watts plus PEP. Sideband delay does work. AM position works as it should. Nice running amp here, guys. Honestly, that's all I'd put into it. I mean, if it was mine, that's exactly how I would run it. These remind me 
of uh, the old Palomar 500 base amps. If you could get a real hot one, a real stout one, they would usually do five or 600 watts PEP uh, if they had a good power supply in them and had 1446s in them. Uh, but that's kind of what the 454 transistor reminds me of. Super, super nice, uh, super nice little amp here. And I hope the customer agrees with me and likes it. Fat Boy 454 Base Amp, Rooster in Tennessee. Questions, comments, shoot me a text, 423-299-3535.